This is the Transportation TV News Update. I'm Tony Dorsey reporting. Congress reconvened this week to begin a post-election lame duck session that could last well into December. The four big unresolved transportation issues are surface transportation reauthorization, U.S. Department of Transportation fiscal year 2011 appropriations, Build America bonds extension, and Federal Aviation Administration reauthorization. On November 30th, President Barack Obama will meet with congressional leaders to discuss the agenda for the rest of the year. The 112th Congress will convene January 5th. Travel news making big headlines this week. According to AAA, an estimated 42.2 million people will be taking a trip of at least 50 miles this Thanksgiving holiday, which begins Wednesday, November 24th and runs through Sunday, November 28th. That's an 11.4% increase over last year. Trips by motor vehicle remain the most popular for holiday travel, with 94% or 39.7 million people reaching their destination by driving. 1.6 million people will travel by air. That's an increase of 3.5% over Thanksgiving 2009. The Transportation Security Administration has begun strongly defending the use of new pat-down search techniques and full body scanners that can see through clothing. On the TSA website and in testimony before Congress this week, the agency has insisted that the new, more aggressive security measures are safe and are making air travel safer. A message on the agency blog denied an online report that suggested the full-body airport scanners can store, transmit, or print images of passengers. Also in the news this week, the National Transportation Safety Board urged states to enact mandatory helmet laws for all motorcycle riders. Motorcycles make up just 3% of all vehicles on America's roads. However, they account for 13% of the fatalities. The NTSB replaced recreational boating on its most wanted list of transportation safety improvements with motorcycle safety, a sign of its commitment to bringing the number of motorcycle fatalities down. NTSB Chairman Deborah A.P. Herzman told Transportation TV in a recent interview why this issue is a top priority. Motorcycle accidents, for example, this is an area where we've seen an increase not just in the, the rate of accidents, but the total number. Sure, the usage of motorcycles is going up. We have more registrations, but the fatality numbers are outpacing the registration numbers. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, head injury is the leading cause of death in motorcycle crashes. And finally this week, news about the resumption of an important AASHTO-supported youth program called TRAC. The Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates that by 2018, America will need 345,000 civil engineers to meet the demand of our growing nation. That's a 25% increase over 10 years. On November 2nd, the AASHTO Board of Directors voted unanimously to resume the track program. It's a math, science, and English-based curriculum which teaches middle and high school students to use engineering techniques to solve real-world problems. TRAC also links school systems to their state transportation departments by giving civil engineers an opportunity to volunteer as classroom mentors. TRAC was sidelined temporarily in 2008 after its previous manager left the association. Ashto appointed former middle school principal Linda Clifton as TRAC's new program manager on November 8th. A lot of our civil engineers are retiring or reaching retirement age. Therefore, when they leave those positions, we will need a workforce that is ready, willing, and able to fill those positions. We believe TRAP will help prepare our young people to fill that void. More than a dozen states currently utilize the TRAP program. We all work really hard to build this, and it feels good to actually accomplish something. If you're interested in TRAP, watch a new video about the program right here on the State to State channel on Transportation TV. That's the Transportation TV News Update. Thanks for watching.